Good morning everyone. Now I am going to discuss a problem on maximum and minimum of the function. How we can find out the maximum and minimum and examine the extreme values of the function means the given function is a two variable function in that first we can differentiating partial derivatives of the first order those functions will be equal to zero then we are getting the points and again we are find out the double derivatives and check the condition of L is greater than 0, ln minus m square is greater than 0, both are greater than 0 at a point, at that point the function has minimum. The second case is if L is less than 0, ln minus m square is greater than 0, at that point the function has maximum. If ln minus m square is equal to 0, we cannot say the function has no extremes. We cannot say the function has either maximum or minimum. That is nothing but we can say that no extreme values at that point. Okay. Now I am taking one problem and how we can discuss the maximum and minimum values of the function. At which points the function has maximum and at which point that has minimum okay the problem is examine the function examine the function f of x comma y is equal to x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 2x square plus 4xy minus 2y square for extreme values, for extreme values, x and y must be greater than 0. Okay? It is a problem and we can find out or examine where the function has a maximum, where the function has a minimum. Okay? Now I am taking the given function like f equal to x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 2x square plus 4xy minus 2y square. Let it be equation 1. Now, differentiating with respect to 2, differentiating with respect to 2, x and y, the above equation. Then, do f by do x equal to 4x cube, this derivative is 0, minus 4x plus 4y. And do f by do y is equal to x power 4 derivative is 0, 4y cube plus 4x minus 4y. For getting the values or that is nothing but points consider do f by do x equal to 0 and do f by do y equal to 0. In this in all terms 4 is common that is x cube minus x plus y it is equal to 4 into y cube plus x minus y. Now we can take these two functions equal to 0 means so 4 is taking to right side then x cube minus x plus y is equal to 0 so 4 into that is nothing but x cube minus x plus y equal to 0 let it be equation 2. Next 4 into y cube plus y, x minus y equal to 0 from this y cube plus x minus y equal to 0. It is equation 3. Solving 2 and 3, we are getting x cube plus y cube equal to 0. That will be equation 4. That is solving 2 and 3. We know that a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. By using this formula, 
then x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square minus 2 minus x y plus y square equal to 0. From this either x plus y equal to 0 or x square minus x y plus y square equal to 0. Any one of the factor is 0 then the product must be equal to 0. Here we can we cannot split into factors the second term then from this x equal to minus y. This x equal to minus y value substitute in equation 3 or any one of the equation that is equation 2. Here x cube minus x in the place of y we can write minus x equal to 0. From this x cube minus 2x equal to 0, x taking common, x square minus 2 equal to 0. From this, either x equal to 0 or x square minus 2 equal to 0. 1 is x equal to 0 means from this, y is also equal to 0. We are getting the point 0 comma 0 is 1 point. The another one is x square is equal to 2 from this x equal to plus or minus root 2. If x equal to plus root 2 then y is minus root 2. If x equal to minus root 2 then y equal to plus root 2. Why? Because x equal to minus 1. Therefore the points are 0 0 root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2 root 2. Or the points or the points of f of x comma y by solving the first derivatives equal to 0. Okay. Now we can check which points at which points the function has maximum and minimum. For that we can find out the double derivative that is L equal to dou square f by dou x square. That is equal to, this is differentiating with respect to x again. 4, 3 is a 12 x square minus 4 y derivative is 0. m equal to dou square f by dou x dou y. We can differentiate in with respect to y the dou f by dou x. Then the first term is 0, second term is 0. Third one is equal to 4 only. N equal to dou square f by dou y square. Dou f by dou y can differentiating again with respect to y means 12 y square it's x is 0 minus 4. Now we can check at which points the function has maximum. Okay. At which points the function has maximum. Check at 0, 0. L equal to 12 into 0 minus 4. This is minus 4. It is less than 0. M equal to 4. N equal to 12 into 0 minus 4. It is equal to minus 4. It is also less than 0 ln minus m square is equal to ln that is minus 4 into minus 4 minus 4 square 16 minus 16 equal to 0. Here ln minus m square equal to 0. So at origin f has no extremes. No extremes. Okay. 
Next we can find out at minus root 2 comma or plus root 2 comma minus root 2. L is equal to 12 into x square is root 2 whole square minus 4. It is equal to 24 minus 4 equal to 20. It is greater than 0. M equal to 4. N equal to 12 into minus root 2 whole square minus 4. It is also 24 minus 4. It is 20 greater than 4, 0. Now we can check. Ln minus m square is equal to 20 into 20 minus 4 square. It is 400 minus 16. It is equal to 384. This is greater than 0. Okay. Here the condition is ln minus m square is greater than 0 and l is greater than 0. So the function has minimum. ln minus m square is greater than 0. Therefore, f has minimum. Therefore, minimum value equal to minimum value equal to root 2 whole power 4 plus minus root 2 whole power 4 minus 2 into root 2 whole square plus 4 into root 2 into minus root 2 minus 2 minus 2 root 2 minus 2 minus root 2 whole square. It is equal to root 2 whole power 4 means root 2 is a 4 plus 4 minus root 2 whole square, square root get cancelled, minus 4, plus into minus, minus, 4 to the 8, minus, square root get cancelled, it's a 4. This is equal to minus 8. Therefore, minimum of f is equal to minus 8. Next, again check. At minus root 2 comma root 2. L is also L equal to 12 minus root 2 whole square minus 4. 24 minus 4 equal to 20 greater than 0. M equal to 4. N equal to 12 into root 2 whole square minus 4. It is equal to 24 minus 4 equal to 20 greater than 0. Ln minus M square is greater than. It is equal to 20 into 20. Minus 4 square, it's 400 minus 16, it is 384, is greater than 0, L is greater than 0. Therefore, the function F has minimum at minus root 2 comma root 2. Therefore, the minimum value is same minus 8 only. Okay. This is the procedure of how we can find out the function has maximum or minimum. Okay. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Okay. Thank you.